In Morocco, as in all semi-arid regions of the world, water is a precious resource, particularly for crops. In the plain around Marrakesh, at the foot of the Atlas Mountains, 85% of it is devoted to agriculture. Surface waters from the mountains make up three quarters of this resource, replenishing reservoirs, streams and groundwater. To maintain the balance between different types of land and to avert shortages, water resources must be carefully managed to match supply to demand, or rather, demand to supply. Since the 1990s, a series of drought years and an increasing number of boreholes to feed irrigation have depleted groundwater in the Howes Plain, one of the main aquifers in the catchment basin. Chronic over-abstraction has seen the water level drop by as much as two meters a year in places. Today, we need to learn more about how the water cycle works. Upstream, how and to what extent is snowmelt contributing to river and stream flow? And downstream, what are the dynamics of water demand? And what can we do to make the most efficient and effective use of resources? Satellite imagery, combined with the right kind of models, can provide answers to these questions. The first thing it can do is aid estimation of snowpack to gauge available water resources. In the Marrakesh region, we mapped snowfall in the High Atlas Mountains using a series of spot vegetation imagery back to 1998. We combine these daily scenes from the vegetation sensor with hydrological models to map snowpack and its water equivalent in near real time. We showed that 30% of the snowmelt feeds surface runoff and accounts for a significant portion of groundwater recharge. Satellite imagery is a great asset for the southern Mediterranean, given the scarcity of weather stations, especially in mountain areas. Another benefit of satellite imagery is its ability to improve estimation of water requirements and optimize consumption by irrigation. Once water allocations for irrigation have been defined, the Agricultural Development Board negotiates with irrigation associations to establish how water will be shared and distributed to croplands. It is therefore crucial for the board that this program be optimized to ensure a timely supply of sufficient water to avert any risk of crop stress. This is where space remote sensing will help us to gauge areas under crop at a very early stage and measure levels of crop stress and their water requirements. Satellite imagery is typically from spot, in the visible and near infrared at a resolution of 10 meters that effectively discriminates different types of land cover. How much water a plant needs is dictated mainly by weather conditions and by its stage of growth. Satellite imagery provides detailed insight at every stage of a crop's growth cycle throughout the season. This information is fundamentally important for two reasons. First, because too much water is not a good thing. Our studies show that up to 30% of water supply doesn't get to the plant. That's a potentially very significant saving for the region. Second, because we need to make sure the plant isn't short of water. If a plant is subjected to water stress, its growth and yield will suffer. Satellite imagery, combined with modeling, tells us the best time to irrigate. For a given crop, a time series of four images covers the entire growth cycle and provides tangible support for managing water resources in the Marrakesh Plain while also likely increasing yields and water savings by supplying the right amount of water at the right time. 
Results show that satellite-based remote sensing can help to achieve good operational management of water resources for farmlands in semi-arid regions. With this in mind, the Regional Water Board and the Agricultural Development Board are currently running trials with our satellite monitoring for irrigation software, SAMIR, using it as a tool to control irrigation and support cropping negotiations between the two boards. Looking further ahead, researchers from Sesbio and Kadiyad University in Marrakesh are working at their TREMA joint research unit with partners to develop a decision support tool for 2015. This tool will effectively support integrated water resources management for the Marrakesh Plain.